Hello friends and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this infinite logo slider in Bricks using the new nestable slider element. I'm really excited about this. Let's jump into it. Um, the first thing I want to do is add, just jump in to add the, the nestable slider. Now the thing is the slider component is a root level component. So you don't need to add a section unless like what we're going to do here, we want it to, you know, span from the end of the page you know from one end to the other so uh you don't need to add it inside any container or any section so you could just drop it at the root level so i'm gonna drop in that slider so you can see that slider comes like this now it is nestable that means you could you can alter it the way you want so the first thing i'm gonna do is take take off uh these other ones and i want to have just one for now and then for that one i'm going to remove i'm going to remove the everything inside and then i'm going to drop an image element and i'm going to add a class to that image i'm going to call it my slider uh or let me just say slide image so i'm calling it slide image i'm going to go ahead and select uh, a logo now so i have a logo there and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to duplicate um, all this uh, different. I'm going to duplicate to have more than one slide. So I'm going to copy, paste, 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 paste. I want to do that six times. So I'm going to have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to go ahead. Let me expand all. I'm going to go ahead and change the second image. Go ahead and change the third image, the fourth image, the fifth image, and finally the sixth image. Now once that is done, I'm going to select the nestable slider parent. I'm going to go to options. Uh, uh, first, I want to set the items to show to eight. So that is going to enable us to see what we are doing. And I'm going to set um, the height to auto. I'm just going to go here and set the height to auto. And then I'm going to go to the slide and then set the top padding to 20 pixels, top and bottom to 20 and the left and right to 10. And let's go back to the options and take a look at what we want to do uh wanted to auto play but now let's take a look at the front end and see what we have so right now this is what we have um this is how it looks you see that is how it slides and uh yep and it has this pagination which we do not want so i'm just going to turn off that pagination i'm going to turn it off and now what we want a situation where this doesn't uh, just slide and stop. We want it to continuously scroll. Um, if you notice, there is an interval where it stops before it continues, and that interval is defined by is defined by interval in milli, uh, milliseconds. So I'm going to change that interval to zero. So I want to set it to a speed of say six thousand. So I don't want it to be to move fast. I want it to move slowly. So the higher the number the slower it moves. I'm going to save it, take a look at it. So what is going to happen now? So you see it moves slowly, but what happens? It moves and then it stops. It moves and then it stops. So normally what we want it to is to move, just continue moving just like this one. Okay. Now I'm going to right click and inspect that. So let me bring in the, the inspector here. So um, I'm going to inspect this. So as you can see now, the this div, you know, the splite list, you know, is where you have the animation applied to. So you, see, you can see the 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 transform. We have that six thousand um, milliseconds that we wrote here. But then you notice something that this has. Uh, uh, animation um, time function, the timing function to be, uh, let, let's expand this. So you see the transition timing function is cubic Bezier. 
and that is why it slows down so we don't want that so we want the the timing function to be different so I'm gonna come here because this is the element class and then I'm gonna change the transition timing function to linear of course I need to add important to that for it to work and now there you have it so uh, when you do that it changes this timing function now unfortunately um, that that timing function is not there in the in the settings so we cannot change it from the settings for us to get this to move like this um, we have to use these CSS to overwrite the timing function so I'm just gonna right click and copy that declaration and then I think I'm gonna copy this selector also because we need to target a selector. I'm going to go into, now let me close this. I'm going to go into here and then I'm going to select the nestable slider element. I'm going to go to custom CSS and then uh, I want to target that element, that, that, that selector that is inside this container. All right. Uh, that selector is, you know, is what I want to target. So um, now if we apply that, that um, CSS directly to this element, the root, this element, uh, and we save it, and then we go to the front. It is refreshed. Yeah. Um, let's see if it's gonna, be, it's gonna make any difference. It's, it's. Uh, let's see. It doesn't make any difference. You see. So it slows down and picks up again. So we need to target that class. So I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna because I want to target both classes. So the quick way to do it is to write where. So I'm going to say, um, and then I'm going to paste that selector. So now I'm targeting, I'm saying root, you know, wherever you see these two uh, selectors inside this root container, target them and then apply this CSS. So that refreshes and then let's see. Okay, so I think that works. So um, all we need to do is to, you know, edit the image. So this image is, uh, we had a class of uh, slide image. So I'm gonna go into the image maximum width and change it to 150 pixels, 150. All right, so that gives us what we want. Now, I'm not quite sure why it pauses, you know, before I think, you know, it's just the the way this the 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 JavaScript is being executed. So it, it takes a little while before it starts moving. And then if we go in here, we we can you know apply some other settings. Um, we can pause on hover, so I can set it to pause on hover. Yeah. So that's it. So it's gonna start scrolling, and then when I hover, it does not pause. Oh yeah, it did pause. Did it? No, it did not pause, of course. So it doesn't respect pause on hover. Oh, it does, but it's still slow. Uh, yeah, it does. So anyway, that's all for it um, in this video. And of course, I would like you to try it out, see if you can improve on it, let you know others know, let me know uh, what you came up with and you know how you were able to you know add more functionalities to this. Um, because um, it pauses based on the speed that we set here. So it's gonna move uh, and then stops according to the speed that we set here. So if you want it to be a bit faster, you can make it 4,000 and save so it's going to move at the speed of 4000 which is a bit much faster so you see so the the smaller the number the faster it is all right that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button subscribe and make a comment and let me know what you think if you've discovered something new with this new slider element discovered a bug or any easter egg let us know all right have a great day see you some other time